to the witnesses. Thank you all very much for your testimony. Uh, as a resident of Massachusetts, we are uh, acutely aware of the importance of R&D and uh, greatly appreciate uh, your time in coming here today. Um, President Templeton, I actually have a, a quick question for you that's slightly off topic, but of important interest back in my district in Massachusetts. And so, Mr. Chairman, I hope you'll forgive a, a quick diversion. As I'm sure you're aware, Mr. Templeton, Texas Instruments offered a or, excuse me, operated a manufacturing facility in Attleboro, Massachusetts for several decades. Until it was sold in 2006, the company was a major employer in the area and an active member of the local community. It remains well respected in the city and in the surrounding area still today. That being said, in the years since the Attleboro plant was closed, the cancer rate amongst former employees has been alarming. Specific specifically affected are those men and women who were employed by the company between 1953 and 1968 when TI was involved in the federal nuclear program. As part of the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program through the Department of Labor, money has thankfully been made available to those workers who are now suffering from crippling illness. I know that TI has designated an internal point person uh, for the former workers who are seeking information from EEOIC, uh, and I commend you and TI for doing so. But what I'm hearing from many residents back in the district is that very few of the thousands of former employees in the Attleboro area are even aware of the, of, that this program exists and that there are benefits avail available to them at all. They've seen minimal outreach uh, efforts to ensure that those in need know how to get the help they so, they so deserve. I read this week about Steve Foster from Taunton in the local newspaper. He's suffering from thyroid cancer. His brother also has cancer. His wife and father both died of cancer. All four worked in the Attleboro plant. Yesterday, I spoke to Larry Darcy, a resident of Rehoboth, Massachusetts, who was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 1992. Larry went out of his way to credit your company for the opportunities that it gave him and his coworkers. Over 180 of those coworkers from the Attleboro plant that he is aware of have contracted some type of cancer. I tell those stories, sir, not to cast blame. The human cost of this country's nuclear development in the 1950s and 60s is not unique to Texas Instruments or to Attleboro. But I do believe that TI, along with the federal government, has a responsibility to the men and women that we put in harm's way. While we can't take back the exposure to the radioactive or toxic material that so many suffered, what we can do is absolutely everything in our power to make sure that we ease their pain today. So, sir, I'd like your opinion on how my office can work with your company and the Department of Labor, Department of Energy, to ensure that we are doing all that we can to get the compensation for those who need it. To start, I'm wondering if, one, if there's any light that you can shed on the process that TI goes through to reach out to former employees in this situation or sim similar situations, and two, what my office or the federal government can do to assist you in this process. The money is there, the program is there, and the need tragically, is also there. The communication is not, and we need to try to fix that. Yeah, I think, Mr. Kennedy, first, the, uh, as you know, we've been in very close contact both with DOL or Department of Labor as well as uh, uh, the Department of Energy, and I think you've described the, the actions we need to take, which is we need to stay in contact both between the appropriate government agencies and your office. Uh, we've been very active with the, uh, with the departments to make sure any information we could help with was available. And we need to continue that and take a look. If there's more that can be done, we should be doing it with you. Thank you, Mr. President. Which uh, is there, and I, I would appreciate further communication with you and the designated point person from your office to try to understand if there are employee lists that go back that time. I understand you have a very generous pension plan, that there are still health care benefits that are being paid to your employees, which your employees went out of the way to credit Texas Instruments for. Um, but if we can somehow facilitate that transfer of information to the government so that they can reach out to those individuals, many of whom don't even know that uh, there is benefits there to cover medical bills that are now soaring into the thousands of dollars. Yeah, we can certainly get the right context to you so that can be set up. Thank you, sir. I yield the balance of my time. Mr.